friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is all about what we are packing for our toddler for Disney World. Now this year we're gonna be going during the transition of Thanksgiving right into Christmas. So that is the meaning behind all of the clothing choices and everything. But this video will help you if you are going to Disney in the winter months, if you're going to Disney during the Christmas season, of course, or if you're going to Disney, obviously, with a toddler. Now our toddler is two and a half years old. If you're looking for more of a younger style video with maybe a younger toddler, I do have that video as well because we went last year. Um, we did not go for the Christmas season, but we did go last year and he was about a year and a half old. So I'll go ahead and link that video right here if you want to check that one out. He was about a year and a half old, so a lot. <laughs> A lot more of a different scene for the clothing choices. There was lots of onesies and stuff like that. This year we've got a lot of stuff for potty training and obviously we're going in a completely different time frame of the year so not as much summer clothes as will be um, the more colder months so winter clothes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to show you guys what we got. Hope that you will give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful at all and make sure to comment down below um, any questions you might have for me or if you have questions about maybe your first trip to Disney. Like I said, we just went last year, so I'd be happy to help in any way that I can if you have any questions that maybe I can answer for you um, <clears throat> about traveling with a toddler or being at Disney World with a toddler or anything like that. Also stay tuned for all of my other videos that are coming out in just about the next week and a half or so. Um, we are gonna be having a what to pack in your park bags, what to pack for yourselves for Disney, and then also what is in our stroller. So, and I'm gonna be telling you guys what stroller we're bringing because I know that there's a new rule now that it can't be like a certain width. Um, so I just wanted to give you a good option if you're thinking about going. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what we're bringing for Mr. Man this year. So we're gonna start out with our shoes, these little shoes. I mean, how cute are they? They're like Croc material, but they're not Crocs brand. So I don't know, I don't even know. Oh, Native, it's Native brand. Um, they are super cute though. Um, I'm not sure how comfortable he's going to think they are, so we might just wear those um, for a couple hours one day. And then he's got his super cute little, um, they're not actually Vans, but they look like them. And they say his name on them. And then we've got his Spider-Man Vans and his Mickey Mouse like Velcro shoes. And then his tennis shoes. And I'm so excited because we are staying in Art of Animation Hotel in like the Cars suite type thing and I'm so excited he's going to absolutely love it obviously some socks okay I've kind of unfolded them for you guys so you can see this one has Goofy on it this one has Pluto and then this one has Donald on it and then these are just plain um, but I wanted to bring some Festo socks for him to wear with all of his cute little outfits so one of the days that we're there we are going to be going to Epcot for the day and I packed this super, super comfortable like sweatsuit. It's, it's so cute, you guys. It kind of looks like a little retro. I love a little sweatband <laughs> on the waist. But um, since Remy is now, the Remy ride is up now, um, we are packing his little chef Milo hat. It's an actual chef hat, so cute. And then his little Remy necklace, which lights up. It's so cute, he loves it. Um, and I thought it would just be so perfect especially because we're going during the Christmas season, so it'll be nothing to have some lights around his neck. Um, but how cute is he? Like, he's just so cute. So that is one of the outfits for one of the days that we're gonna be there. We're about to be really extra with this outfit, but one of the days that we're down there, we're gonna be in Hollywood Studios. So I've got this Buzz Lightyear shirt and these super cute little slinky dog ears. These are actually Milo's ears from the last time we went, so um, he's grown into them, obviously, but I'm excited for him to finally get to wear those. And then we just got some little sweatpants. We're like in the total mood to lounge while we're there and be comfortable. So that's the main goal. Okay, this outfit right here, sorry, this is his outfit, is one of my favorite little compilations that we put together because we are having lunch at the Beauty and the Beast like castle. I think that's what it's called. Palace, I can't remember, but we're having lunch with Beauty and the Beast, and oh my gosh, you guys, how freaking cute are these Mommy and Me shirts? So obviously, this is mine, and this is Milo's, but literally, Chip is Mrs. Potts' son, and that's like the perfect rendition of what should be worn at this lunch, and I'm just so excited. So um, I will try to link this down below. I know I got it off Etsy, but I can't remember the shop's name, 
Um, but I just love this so much. Isn't this adorable? And then these little jeans, they're like sweatpant material with the stretchy waistband. So it's the perfect amount of comfort for him to like be sitting in the stroller and stuff. So that's just one little part of one of the days we're going to be in Magic Kingdom. But I had to show you guys the mommy part because it just like goes so well and it's perfect. So we're gonna wake up there on Thanksgiving Day. So I thought for the morning of Thanksgiving, it would be really, really cute to wear something Thanksgiving-y. And so we're both gonna be wearing something Thanksgiving-ish. And then we're gonna f like change, like subtly change into Christmas because we're that extra during the day while we're there. So I'm not even gonna apologize for being extra because you know, we don't get to go to Disney that often and it's a blessing to be able to go and so we go all out when we go, and I'm just never going to apologize for that. So um, I'm really, really excited about this, um, and just like obviously some little sweatpants again just to help him be a little bit more comfortable, but I just love that so much. This is an outfit made perfectly for Magic Kingdom. It's the 50th anniversary um, Disney World design, and it's so perfect. It's got a little t-shirt, and the reason that we have these is because my mom and dad are pass holders and they went already this year and so they bought him a little shirt, a little sweatshirt, and you guys, how cute are these ears? I cannot get over how cute they are. It is also the 50th anniversary, sorry, see the 5O right there, but it comes with little ears, it's so perfect, so, and then obviously some more little jeans to go with that outfit but we're not going to put the sweatshirt on him unless it's like really hot outside but it'll be perfect for the evening when it gets like chilly and then it starts to get really cool so that's perfect and I just thought this outfit was just like it's super cute all together totally cute this outfit is one of my favorites my cousin actually bought this shirt for Milo and then we already had the pants that actually came with a like onesie suit a long time ago um, but obviously the onesie no longer fits him, but the pants are perfect still. And then these little shoes and the whole outfit's like totally personalized. And then we've got this little flip up hat and it's got the ears on it again. This is the same one that he wore last time. This one was a little bit big on him, but it does have like an adjustable um, backing to it. So we can make it a little larger for his head this time around. Um, but how cute is this outfit? I just cannot get over it. And since we're packing realistically, we obviously are gonna need some backup. So I've got an extra t-shirt, an extra pair of pants, and just an extra hat, just in case we lose one or he doesn't wanna wear the certain one that we have for that outfit or whatever. Um, but I am obviously, throughout the days that we're there, we're bringing like extra sets of clothes just for different things. So it's not like these are the only ones that we have as backup, but I am gonna be carrying these in the bag each day um, just, just in case like something spills on him or anything. I'm not really uh, so much concerned with him like peeing himself anymore as I am like stuff getting on his clothes like a sticky sucker or uh, a drink or something like that. So got some backups here and of course the backup hat and let's go see what his pajamas look like. Okay, so we're gonna be in our hotel the night before uh, Thanksgiving. So I thought I would bring these cute little fall pajamas and then they're all, everything that I'm bringing is zip up uh, fleece because I feel like I want him to be really warm and comfortable and just like ro have room and like not be all like in a snug fit or anything like that. So these are for Thanksgiving and then the rest are Christmas and look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Like I said earlier, I will link down as much as I possibly can from this video. So in case you wanted to go check it out, even if you're not going to Disney World, like these are just freaking cute. So this, this design is like really cute. It's a Christmas plaid with Disney with Mickey heads all over it. This one's my favorite, I think. It's got a big old giant Mickey just tangled up in some Christmas lights. This one is Nightmare Before Christmas. It's got Jack Skellington in like little uh, red... I don't know, fluff balls. I don't know what you want to call this, but I love it. It's extra Christmassy and not Halloween-y. <laughs> so that is the pajama selection. And I've packed one additional one just in case something gets wet. I mean, he's not potty trained completely yet, so he does have accents during the night. So just in case, we've got an extra pair with us. Okay, so now let's move on to some of the weather appropriate stuff that we're gonna pack for him. This is his Lightning McQueen rain jacket. It is so cute. Oh my goodness, oh, it's so cute. And you guys look at the back of it. Oh my gosh, it's a big old Lightning McQueen's face right on the back. He loves this rain jacket and it's gonna be perfect because you know if you've ever been to Florida or if you've ever been to Disney World, it can turn into like hurricane season in like a New York minute. So we're gonna be prepared. Last time we were not prepared and all of us got soaked. And so this time 
we're going to be prepared. This is his little um, toboggan and mitten set. This is quite possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm loving these little puff balls at the top or pom balls or pom poms or whatever you want to call them. And then these little Mickey Mouse mittens and they're fleece. The whole set is fleece. It's so perfect. And then this is his little mask. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'll be honest with you. I'm very nervous with the mask. He's never had to wear a mask before. He's only two and a half and he just, I don't know how he's going to do. He has to wear this the entire plane ride and inside any buildings in Disney World. And I'm just really afraid that he's going to hate it. So let's just hope for the best. But how cute is that? Like it's nice and roomy and I'm just, I'm grateful that we already had one. Just on backup, just in case he ever had to wear this. And of course they did bring the, the rule back that you do have to wear it. If you are two years and up have to wear this inside any buildings in the park. At least that's the rule as of right now. Because Milo's only two and a half years old, he is much too big for a crib, but also not old enough quite to just sleep in a regular bed. Like, that terrifies me, the idea, because he's a roller, the idea of him just rolling onto the floor. So we are bringing our Hiccupop bed. This bed, you guys, oh my gosh, game, total game changer. I'm going to show you really quick how easy it is to get this thing out and blow it up because it takes, like, 20 seconds to do it. And it's, it's so perfect, and it obviously is able to roll up and be very, very slim in a suitcase if need be. So my parents are actually going to take this for us um, in one of their suitcases, but it actually doesn't weigh that much. It probably weighs about 12 pounds, maybe 10, 12 pounds. So it is going to take up a good amount of your suitcase, obviously, and be like put on the heavier end, but it's so worth it in my opinion to have like a safe bed for your child to lay in. Or if you have multiple children, I think multiple can fit in this thing. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like, but I'm bringing a sheet and just his Lightning McQueen blanket. And then obviously his blankie that's in the car right now that he uses all the time and brings everywhere. We're going to bring that as well, but I didn't bring that to show you because it's in the car. Um, so let's Plump this bed up so that you can see how it works, and I will definitely have that bed linked down in the description box below. By the way, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just really, really like the bed. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew and maybe so did you That everything would change from now on So you can clearly see how easy it was to blow that up and how fast it was. And then he has a nice comfy bed to sleep in the entire time we're gone. Okay, so now let's discuss what we're bringing on the plane with us. So I do have his, um, his tablet in here. This thing is dirty, don't judge me. Um, his tablet here, I'll just leave that down so there's not such a glare. But we're bringing his tablet, we've got some movies and stuff downloaded on that, and then obviously his mask. And then this also needs washed, oh my gosh. This has like food on it, that's really gross. Um, oh, it just came right off, I think it was just something that was on the floor. Okay, anyway, his little plain pillow, and then his little backpack for the plane. It is Buzz Lightyear, of course, because why not? And in it, I've just packed some restickable stickers. This Melissa and Doug kit, you guys, is so genius. It is perfect for your kids if they are going on long car rides or anything. These stickers just peel off of the sheet and you can put them on like various places and there's tons of different kinds. So this is perfect. I'll try to see if I can link that down below, but I have no idea where this came from. Like I don't know if it came from Amazon or Walmart or Target or what, but I will try to find it for you guys. And then I've just got some, I've got his old Woody car 
and then a motorcycle and Lightning McQueen just so he can have some toys with him. Um, but other than that, we're trying to pack really light for the plane. That way we don't have like a hundred things with us. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for what we're bringing for him on the plane. Besides just the regular essentials, like we're going to have some diapers, some wipes, some you know, snacks and stuff with us as well. But for the most part, this is pretty much what's going to be in his little uh, Buzz Lightyear bag. This is what we're going to be bringing for him, minus obviously his toothbrush and stuff is upstairs still because we are way like we're still a couple weeks out from our trip at this point um but we've got some shampoo some body wash a syringe for any kind of medic medicine that he might need which we're going to take some medicine as well um and then some kids sunscreen i know that that sounds crazy because we're going in november and december but honestly guys from what i've heard you can still get a sunburn <laughs> even that late in the year in Florida so um, and then this is just like his little travel bag for his hygiene stuff so everything pretty much fits in here pretty perfectly um, and it'll be perfect to keep all of this stuff especially if something like opens itself and drips it all catches in this bag really nicely it's like nicely lined so anyway I still have room for his toothbrush and everything so Perfect little bag for that. This is Milo's autograph book. We are so excited because we got him an autograph book last time. We opened it up, we were ready for it, and then they did not allow us to take any photos with anybody. Barely any cast members were out when we went last time because we went during like the heat of the pandemic. So we are excited at least to be able to um, take pictures from afar with the cast members and maybe like I can autograph it for him. Um, something like that and at least we can take pictures and put them in the book so I am very very excited about that but all of our Disney stores are closing down here so um, I'm not sure if you can still find these on shopdisney.com I'm sure you can um, but this one was just so cute and it, it looks really retro with the Polaroid pictures on it so I loved it that's a wrap on today's video I hope you found it helpful in any way and if you're planning a trip to Disney soon then I hope you have the best time in the happiest place on earth